Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to do a slingshot problem. Perhaps you remember that NASA often launches a satellite in such a way that it passes one of our planets and in doing that, if you do it the right way, the satellite increases its speed, it increases its kinetic energy. And that's what NASA wants in many cases. At first you may think, well, that sounds like a violation of the conservation of energy. But that's not true, because clearly if the satellite gains energy, then the planet must lose that energy. And we will see how that works. So let's first take a look. We have a planet here with mass capital M and it has a speed in this direction V of P. P stands for planet. Very, very, very far away from this planet is a satellite with mass little m and speed V of S, which stands for satellite. It's going in this direction, which is 90 degrees different from that direction. It is so far away from this planet that the total energy of this satellite is really only the kinetic energy. Any gravitational potential energy is so small because the distance is so large that that can be ignored. Remember, if this satellite were at infinitely far away from this satellite, its potential energy would be zero. Well, now it is so close to zero that it can be ignored. So, the satellite goes this way and it is manipulated so cleverly that it goes around the planet and comes back in this direction. So it changes its direction by 180 degrees. Of course, we both know that as it goes through this planet, that it will increase its speed will go very fast here and then ultimately when it is very very far away from the planet the speed will be Vs prime and it will be larger than this and again because it's so far away that the gravitational potential energy can be neglected so its kinetic energy is entirely one half mv s prime squared, which is way larger than the gravitational potential energy. So now comes the question, how on earth can you do this problem? Well, without proving it, the answer that you will get, namely we want to know what Vs prime is, we want to know the gain in speed, you can treat this as if it were a one-dimensional, purely elastic collision. So, the mass bounces off this very massive object and bounces back. But since the massive object is moving in this direction, this speed will be higher than that speed. Remember, if you have a tennis racket in your hand, and the tennis ball hits the tennis racket, since you move the tennis racket in the opposite direction as the tennis ball, the tennis ball will increase in speed. That is also a one-dimensional, close to an elastic collision. This will be a 
perfect elastic collision. And the question is, we know M, 3000 kilograms. We know the speed of the satellite, 8 kilometers per second. And we know the speed of this planet. This planet happens to be Jupiter. And the orbital spe uh, speed of Jupiter is 13 kilometers per second. You can look up the mass of Jupiter. It's very, very large. But I will leave you with that. So, I want the answer of Vs prime in kilometers per second, two-digit precision. So it was eight kilometers per second here, and here it is higher. Two-digit precision. And you can treat it as a perfect elastic collision. So, in a way, it's a simple problem. Have a nice day, take care, and yes, of course, of course we will be friends. That goes without saying. Hello, hello. I forgot to mention, and this is important, that the speeds, all three speeds, in this problem, V of S, the speed of the satellite, V of P, the speed of the planet, and V of S prime, which is the speed of the satellite after the slingshot encounter, they are all relative to the sun. Okay, sorry that I forgot, but it is important that you realize that. Take care.